Now to the war on our southern border. Last week, we told you about a drug cartel extermination site just a few miles from the U.S. border in Nuevo Laredo, where in a single room in a ruined house, they found countless compacted, burnt human remains nearly two feet deep. And now, just earlier this week, the U.S. consulate in that same border city of Nuevo Laredo was forced to close temporarily after it was hit by gunfire following the arrest of, our, of cartel boss Juan Gerardo Trevino, known as El Huevo. What you're seeing on your screen right now is the aftermath of that gun battle where suspected gang members blocked roads with spike strips and lit several tractor trailers on fire. At least one person is known to have died as a result of the violence. This isn't a war happening half the world away, as you can see right here on this map. Nuevo Laredo is just on the other side of the Texas border. This is all happening steps away from sovereign American territory. We barely even hear about it. And it's just about to get even worse, with the Biden regime now predicting a mass migration event at the border and a, quote, massive influx of migrants, as if we haven't had that already. Where's Alejandro Mayorkas? Where's border czar Kamala Harris looking into the root causes of this? Is Jen Psaki going to circle back to it? We'd love to know. Joining us now with reaction is Ed Calderon, a former Baja California state police officer. Ed, um, just give, tell us what, what, in your view, is going on. I mean, we hear about the cartels basically running everything, and then you see these battles erupting as an indication of that. What's happening? And they, they, are, they are putting, they take, they're taking the world to school in fourth generation warfare. These are not small state actors anymore. These are transnational entities that have capabilities to take down aircraft. They are people that can basically take a whole city and own it and beat the military. These are, these are groups that are now acting more like a guerrilla warfare force than anything else that we've actually seen as far as cartels. And what is the impact on the the border situation specifically, because the crime that they're involved in, the drug trafficking, the people's... Is that is it all just exponentially going to increase if this continues unchecked? So, so people need to realize that main part of the, 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 the draw that uh, some of these cartels get as far as influx of money mm -hmm. actually comes from people from smuggling people across the border. So all of these mass migration waves that have been hitting the border have only emboldened and enriched it's a lot of these cartels. They are the one that tax people to go through their points of entry. Uh, this, uh, you know, going the first 72 hours of the war in Ukraine, Mexico actually beat the Ukraine as far as the amount of deaths related to violence. Uh, you know, these mass body sites that were found are one of many. You know, the numbers that the governments are that the government of Mexico is putting out as far as how many people have died violently in Mexico are skewed. Uh, they don't take into account the people that are missing. Uh, it's getting that's, worse. That's an amazing, amazing fact there. Um, and what do you, th has, has the Mexican government um, lost control through uh, in, incompetence, the superior kind of firepower of the cartels, or do you think they've just given up? They're not interested in doing anything about this. Well, we, <clears throat> you have to realize that the current Mexican president is in a, you know, is to the left of the political spectrum. It's populist open Chavista, open uh, Maduro supporter. Mm -hmm. And his first, uh, his first uh, you know, thing that he claimed as far as his uh, anti-drug policy, anti-cartel policy was abrazos no balazos, you know, hugs not bullets. So <laughs> we have had some major arrests recently, yeah. uh, but you can see that a lot of it has been concentrated on some of the smaller cells, uh, some of the smaller groups that are kind of fracturing off of some of the bigger ones, like the new generation cartel that has been growing exponentially across the country, and the classic large Sinaloa cartel that has held control over vast amounts of the Mexican territory for years. There is simply no political effort being done, really, to try and stop some of these uh, groups from growing, or at least, you know, Again, some of these groups own the sky over the mm -hmm. territories that they own, and they beat the military in open warfare. Uh, Amazing. You can see the government getting smaller. Wow. That is just absolutely chilling to hear that. What ex I really appreciate your expertise. And the, the frightening thing is we don't see that political will to do anything about it on this side of the border either. Um, Ed Calderon, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.